Hey everyone! So we'll be making some pineapple fizzy drink, or otherwise known as pineapple kvass. All you need is a pineapple, or really any other fruit that you'd like, and a jar, some whey, and some water. And you can turn it into a delicious fizzy drink similar to pop, but with probiotics. Cut our ends off. If you want to, you can actually use all of the peelings of your pineapple to make the kvass and then just eat the pineapple yourself. But just for an added flavor boost, we're going to use the entire pineapple today. It's actually a really nice way to use the peels of your pineapple because a lot of the fruit is still on there. So like I mentioned before, you can use any combination of fruits and spices or herbs that you want to do this kind of fermented drink. I've used raspberry and fennel, pretty much every combination of berries on their own. Smells so good. All right. So we've got our jar filled with pineapple. And I think I'll do another small jar after with just the stuff that was on the rinds. And we're gonna take our whey that we've been straining out from our milk kefir. If you remember earlier in the milk kefir segment, we put some kefir in the strainer with the coffee filter and allowed the whey to separate. And I've actually refilled this now with another batch of fresh milk kefir. But when you're done straining this, you actually end up with a almost cream cheese-like spread that you can have with grated apple and flaxseed and a drizzle of honey and just have that for breakfast or spread it on to crepes or pancakes. And then you've got this lovely whey that is full of the lactobacillus that produces the lactic acid to make these beautiful ferments. So you need about a half a cup for doing this kind of ferment. And I'm gonna put a little bit more because I'm using a slightly larger vessel. I might even just throw in almost a full cup. So I'm pouring the whey over top of pineapple. We're gonna to top that up with water. Now if you want a much sweeter beverage, you can add a bit of raw cane sugar and a little tiny bit of salt with the whey as well. But we're gonna do it salt free, which means we're using lots of whey because we wanna make sure that we have tons of lactic acid producing bacteria that are already in there. I'm gonna top up a teeny tiny bit more water. And I'll put the lid on and this is going to sit on the counter for about two or three days and after that it needs to go in the fridge. If anything foamy rises to the top you can skim that off and then you'll strain out the pineapple and you'll have a delicious fizzy pineapple pop that will be something you'll have to arm wrestle the kids over. So once you've finished making your pineapple fizzy drink and you've got the leftover pineapple, it's not going to have a ton of flavor left. Sometimes you can make a second batch of the fizzy drink, but it won't be as flavorful as the first, but it won't have that same nutritional value as the original pineapple because the bacteria have actually worked on it and pre-digested it and put most of that um, nutrition into the liquid. Although there still will be you know, some flavor and some benefit. So if you want to eat it, then feel free. And if not, then you can give it to the compost and feed that. And that's how you make a pineapple fizzy drink.